personally believe that the Lord is going to speak to us. Amen. So as we have uh, the Holy Communion and the Lord's Table with us, and uh, uh, I would like to speak something related to uh, that uh, I mean, ceremony this morning. Um, and uh, we are going to read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. And the theme is uh, uh, the importance and the purpose of divine chastisement in believers' life. The importance and the purpose of divine chastisement in believers' life. From 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. Amen. So, it says very clearly that but when we are judged, we are disciplined by the Lord so that we will not be condemned along with the world. Amen. So, Malayalathil Vakim Vakim Dengineana Vidike Padanu Yengilo Nam Logat Thodu Kooda Shishchavadhi Lagapada Adirikyanda Dine Karthavad Namme Bale Shishchakarikyavu. Amen. So, when we go through this verse particularly, you know, this, this passage we used to read for the for the Holy Communion every 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 month okay every month for this uh, for this Lord's Supper we used to read this uh, I mean portion and we know that uh, uh, the, the, the the Holy Communion is always um, and 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 the, and the I mean chastisement of God is always connected with the Holy Communion because uh, we know that uh, uh, when a person is attending or when a person is partaking the Holy Communion, uh, God is expecting from that person that that person should be a person who is longing for a holiness, right? A person who is longing for a holiness. That means, you know, a person who is uh, in, a, in a, maybe in a daily basis uh, submitting himself in the presence of God and uh, examining himself and uh, uh, asking pardon in the presence of God, asking forgiveness in the presence of God uh, for all the uh, weakness, all the shortcomings, all the sins that we are doing in our daily life. I mean, so that's the reason I can say that when 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 a, when a person is coming to the presence of God to uh, I mean celebrate the Holy Communion, when some of the people are saying that. Uh, only the perfected people, the perfect people are, uh, uh, I mean, uh, taking and uh, participating, participating in the Holy Communion. I mean, there are some people saying that only the perfect people are, I mean, only the, the completely holy people are uh, taking part of the uh, Holy Communion. It's not like that, you know. So we are not perfect, but we are longing for that. Okay? Longing for the holiness and longing for the perfection and longing for the, and we are every day, every moment, we are preparing ourselves for the for the second coming of Jesus Christ. And that person who is examining daily. Okay. So we need to think about that. The reason that we are again and again. We are submitting and we are examining ourselves. Because we need to see that. When we are growing in holiness, we are growing in holiness and we are preparing ourselves for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. So when we when we when we study about the word chastisement, Bala Shitcha, in the Barayana Avakana Kurchana Yan in the Sindhikana today, Bala Shitcha chastisement. Okay, so uh, you can see that there are uh, different terms which is used in the Bible uh, for chastisement. The first one is and disciplining and second one is correction and third one is pruning okay so these are the these are the three I mean, terms that we can use for chastisement bala shiksha endu parayumbo adinodulla bandathil sindikkanadha irikkana kaaryam nammude jeevithathil sambhavikkunadha irikkana maatrangal allengil corrections varuthanda samayangalil adu nadathuga adu pole thanne chetti vedippaakkanadhine vedippaakka pruning Okay, Adaka Sampovi Kimbo Dana, Edartha Tilur Victi, Amen Balanda Mundirikin, the Valley Perfection Lake, Balanda Mundirikin, the Namaka Paria, Sadika Tolo, Alla Namada, Amen Elai Sikarta Vernanda, Patu Badanda, Aradikin under, Pratikin under, Vajan Kakan under, I mean, the little chain on the Gilum, I mean, the Nekan Briaita, or all the Wusso Namada Divata Nadakan Rikari, Mada Sanctification, Holinessum, I mean, Namada the Neuri Perfection Lake and Namada the Year. Prathani would put a Mumbotia Traya, Uru, the Mishatan number of Prathic, number of the next salmon cheddar, the Mumbotia Tra Cheddar, the Varikan, Engel Matrame, Namuka, I mean Paramatha, my to David the Savi can add a Sadikatolo. Okay, when we think about this one, you know, God's chastisement is only applicable for the believers. 
God's chastisement is only for the believers. What about the unbelievers? What about the unbelievers? Eh? For the unbelievers, God is not going to chastise them or God is not going to discipline them. But for them, there is an eternal punishment in future. There is an eternal punishment in future. But for the unbelieving people, God is giving more opportunities. Right? God is giving more chances and opportunities for them to come to Christ and to receive Jesus as their personal savior. And they can also become a member of the church and they can also become a believer in Jesus Christ. And they can also become a Christian when they are committing themselves to the presence of God and accepting Jesus as their personal savior. So God is giving the unbelievers, many chances and many opportunities that they can come to Christ at any time. At any time. You know, uh, for all the unbelieving people, God is giving different, different, different chances and opportunities. And God is speaking to those people. But many of the people are not accepting Jesus. Many of the people don't want to come to, uh, come to Christ. And they don't want to believe in the word of God. Hallelujah. But only for the believing people, only for the Christian people, only for the believers, hallelujah, God says that, I mean, I will be chastening you, I will be disciplining you, or I will, will be pruning you, and I will correct you, because, I mean, I need you to become a perfect person, I mean, until the day of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, as we are celebrating the Holy Communion this morning, let me tell you one thing. Why God is many a times, I mean, often God is sustaining the people of God. Why God is pruning the people of God. Why God is correcting the people of God. Only because he wanted to see that the people of God are growing in spirit and they are growing in holiness. Amen. And they are growing into the perfection of Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's the reason that Many a times, I mean, Jesus is, I mean, I mean many a times he is uh, pruning us or, or, or disciplining us or chastening us. I mean, and we know that the, 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 the chastisement is a temporary thing. To me, maybe temporarily it is a sorrowful thing, right? Chastisement is a sorrowful thing, is a painful thing for temporarily, but in future, the result is great. What would be the result? The joy and the happiness. I mean, that's what we are reading in Hebrews chapter 12. When, whenever we are chastised by God, whenever we are corrected by God's presence and the word of God, whenever we are disciplined by the word of God and by God and by the spirit of God, and there are, cha there, there, there are I mean, changes happening in our lives and we are growing in spirit and we are growing into the perfection of Jesus Christ. Amen. So God has a standard and a Christian has a standard and we are growing now, right? We are growing into the perfection of the standard of God. Hallelujah. That is the I mean, holiness of God. And God said that, I mean, be holy because I am holy, right? Be holy because I am holy. You know, there are some people thinking that, okay, we cannot be holy in this wretched world. I mean, this is an unholy world and this is a I mean, wretched world. And we cannot be a holy person among these wicked people. You know, when you go outside in the society, you are seeing all the people are wicked people and all the people are, I mean, uh, I mean, living uh, uh, not according to the will of God, not according to the word of God. They are following their own pleasures and they are following all the worldly pleasures. But the children of God, many a times, the believers, many a times, they are saying, how can I be a holy person among the worldly people? It is possible because you and me are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You believe that? You and me are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and God made us righteous people and God made us holy people and he is calling us you are the saint of God men or vishuddhanayitta deyam nammal vilichu verdirichu alle or needimanayitta nammal needimanmar allayirunnu pakshe kartavu endiyedo nammal needigirichu amen god made us righteous people and we are the righteous people today hallelujah and that's the reason and god is saying that in, this is a process when maybe temporarily it's a painful process. Amen? When God is chastising a person, it's a temporarily it's a painful process. It's a it's a it's a sorrowful I mean I mean I mean process. But at the same time, in future, Hallelujah, we are going to see the result of that pruning. We are going to see the result of the correction. We are going to see the result of the 
chastisement and disciplining of God in our personal life, in our family life, in our church life. Hallelujah. And today I'm going to speak about I mean, the purpose of the divine chastisement. I mean, I'll be the next one. The, the purpose of the divine chastisement. There are many things that I, mean, I want to I mean, share with you, but within within the limited time, I would like to share with you maybe a four or five things that uh, I mean, uh, which came to me and uh, uh, I feel that that is very important. I mean, so, you know, we, we, we are, I'm talking about the chastisement of God, divine chastisement of God, okay? divine chastisement or divine correction or divine pruning or divine disciplining. Okay, so when we think about that, we understand there are many things which is very important to, to talk about the chastisement of God. They were in the Bible, so she could sit around a caring of Parayan and Nagalum, eight to Prasakta Vaitula, Nalo and Chicago Matrayana, Parayan at Agri Kinulu. I mean, so let us go to the first point that chastisement with the purpose of not to be condemned with the world. That is what we read already in First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. Men, in the Anna Kanada Riamo, eh, Ningle. So this is the heart of God. This is the real heart of God. This is the love of God. You know, everyone, those who are sitting here, the believers, the Christians, the saints of God, the children of God. Let me tell you one thing that God wants everyone to be safe and God wants everyone to be escaped from the contamination of God, which is already prepared for the unbelieving people. And God has already prepared a place, a tormentation place, an eternal punishment place for the unbelieving people. And we, the believers, are called out of the, I mean, darkness. And we are called out of the, I mean, darkness of this world. And from among the, I mean, I mean, wretched people, from among the worldly people. And we are separated, I mean, for, with a purpose. Hallelujah. At the same time, the church and the world is different. And we know that when every person, those who are not believing in Jesus Christ, they will have an eternal punishment. Every person, those who are not believing in Jesus Christ and not that received Jesus as their personal savior, they will surely have a, an eternal punishment. But what about the believing people? What about the Christian people? What about the believers? When those people are the separated people from this world and God is preparing those people with the purpose that, that those people should not be included in the condemnation, right? Oh, hallelujah. Daily basis, they have a bar of Shichakari Chondrikiana. I mean, Seri Seri Adigal of Namaka Kitam Ball, Seri Seri, I mean, punishments of the Yamaka Tarim Ball, I mean, Seri Seri corrections of the Yamaka Tarim Ball, Orthodom, Namada Nalavera Kitirta, I mean, Sotram, Urikarno Sar, a punishment road to Pogade, and it is Shishi Lake Pogade, Namada out of the birth, the Rikan Mediana, Kartava the Chay into the Hallelujah. That's the reason we are reading in Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is no condemnation for those who are now in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What is that verse? What is that verse? There is no condemnation for those who are now in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know that this is a great privilege for every one of us that we got a chance to receive Jesus as a personal savior. A chance, an opportunity to, to become a believer. Hallelujah. And that's the reason now we are in Christ. Amen. We are in Christ. And so as we are in Christ now, there is no condemnation. But if there is a there, there, there is a time that we are going away from the presence of God, believe. You no, know, you know, which is very clearly written in the Bible that you know if a believer or if a person who, he, who, who is in Christ now and tomorrow that person is going away from the presence of God, huh? you know that? I mean, if that person is going away from the presence of God, and if that person is not obeying the word of God, then again it comes the word like this. Now you have no condemnation, you have no condemnation, you have no punishment, but you will have chastisement. You will you, you will have a condemnation with the world, 
ഈ ലോകത്തോട് കൂടെ നിങ്ങൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യത്തില്ല ശിക്ഷ വിധിക്കത്തില്ല പക്ഷെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങളെ ബാലശിക്ഷ തന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് വൈ Why? We are separated from the world and we don't have that condemnation. We don't have that eternal punishment. But now, as we are having the chastisement, if you are not submitted to the presence of God, even though you are having the chastisement, even though you are not ready to I mean, obey the word of God, again and again, God will chastise you. And again and again, God will discipline you. At the same time, if you are not submissive, I mean, for you also, there is a eternal punishment. Because we know that if you and me are not caught up with Jesus Christ in the second coming of Jesus Christ, I mean, that itself shows that you will be left off. Right? Okay? You will be left off and you cannot be with Jesus Christ in heaven. I mean, if you are not going or if you are not caught up with Jesus Christ in the rapture of the church, I mean, then we will be here and we will be with the world. And the, when, when the world is going to the condemnation, we also will be included in that. That's the reason. That's the reason. God says that I don't want you to be there in the group of the condemnation of the world, but I need for you to escape from the condemnation. Hallelujah. I need you to be I mean, separated from that. I mean, the child of God should be separated from the condemnation of this world. That's the reason God is always chastising and chastisement will help us to escape from the condemnation of the world. Hallelujah. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is chastisement with purpose of bearing more fruits. Amen. Chastisement with the, with the purpose of bearing more fruits. Let's read John chapter 15 verse 2. John chapter 15 verse 2. I mean, so what is there? You know, when, when a, 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 as, a, as a plant is growing, we know that the gardener prunes the branches. Right? So again, Jesus is talking about the vine and the gardener and the father and the owner. And we know that we all are called by God and we are Christians. Okay. And we are Christians and we are the people of God. We are the children of God. And God is sometimes doing the pruning because we need to I mean, bear more fruits. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We need to bear more fruits. That's the reason that God is pruning every person. What is happening when, when somebody is pruning a plant? What is happening when a, a gardener is pruning a plant? Okay. The thing which is happening there is the unwanted things will be cut off from there, right? The unwanted branches or unwanted things will be, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, will be cut off from there and it is throwing into the fire. At the same time, the real ones will be remaining there, right? The real ones will be remaining there. At the same time, the unwanted branches will be cut off from there and it will be, I mean, thrown into the fire. The same thing which is happening in our personal life, in our spiritual life also, many a times, when God wanted to prune us, God wanted to prune us. Nor jala, namade, when kai kya ta da iri kina, lengil, amishimil la ta da iri kina, na amishima iri kina, I mean, namade jiwat tena sobhavangal endi yana kartavan, chastis bendi load endi yana, adine, murichu maati gya yana, malarati kurthiri kina vaakke chetti vedipa kya nana, mel, namade namade endi yana, adine onna, katti yada, katti yada, katti yada, I mean, unwanted right to the second day, Kalanda Gunda, number perfectly, Kanarata Vendi, more fruits on Dagan Vendi, number I mean, Sutra Prune Chayena or Anpomana, Namakota Kalwa, the Kona Kari. We know that the reason of our existence is to abide in Jesus Christ, right? The reason that we are living in this world, the reason of our existence is abiding in Jesus Christ. When we abide in Jesus Christ, he, we will be more fruitful. And when He prunes us, in order to bear more fruits, pruning is a process of chastening and disciplining and a painful process. No, it is not. A, I mean, it is not. A, it is not an easy thing. It is not a. I mean, a happy thing that okay. Uh, when 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 we are pruning, when when somebody is pruning us, okay. When uh, uh, this is happening, it's a painful. I mean, I mean, thing that which is happening, right? When our own the cutting, when our own the very problem, or like when our own the correcting and our own the very problem, our own the very problem. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm 
നമ്മുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെയൊക്കെ ഒന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ വലിയ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണ് ഇപ്പൊ അല്ലേ എമേ സോ യു ഗോ ടു യുവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ മെൻ സ്മോൾ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വെൻ യു ആർ ഐ മീൻ ട്രൈ ടു കറക്റ്റ് ദം there will be uh, there will be maybe i mean talking something i mean to, towards you i mean very very badly okay they don't want to go through the correction they don't want to i mean i mean go through the pruning I mean the same thing is happening for the for the spiritual people believers many time I mean we need that okay I mean we need, uh, we need to be every time happy right you know even i was thinking about yesterday yesterday when uh, we were having the prayer meeting in sam's house okay you know i told them that okay all children come forward and sit in the front right i told them already that all children come forward and sit in the front some of them came and they were sitting there after 10 minutes or 15 days nobody is there nobody is there they went away and they went to the next next room and they were playing there it's very bad it's very bad you no know? when the elders are i mean uh, disciplining you when the elders or elderly people are disciplining you children you must obey that Okay, you must obey that when we are having a prayer meeting a fasting prayer or whatever it may be whatever meeting it is you must be there in front of that group when you must be there with the bible when parents give a bible uh, for your children or oh, no, by the way I'm, i'm talking about that okay uh, give a bible to them and tell them that this is parents responsibility you know every time the bachcha cannot go after them every time when joseph cannot uh, go after them i mean every time uh, the elderly people cannot go after them the parents should i mean a watch over that and you have to tell them that this is a prayer meeting sit there in front of that then you you can train them the, the, the parents must train them that this is a prayer meeting sit there with the bible when somebody is preaching there open your bible see the words when this is a discipline this is the discipline okay so that should happen in our spiritual life also but parents i'm talking about parents now in our spiritual life in the in the life of a parents when god is doing something and when god is pruning us and when god is correcting us some be submissive in the hands of god tell him lord i'm ready o god i'm ready o god lord when i i'm i'm accepting that pruning o lord i'm accepting that correction o god i'm accepting that chastisement o lord i need to become a real child of god i need to become a real son or daughter of god hallelujah that's the reason that uh, when god is I mean, sometimes sustaining us I mean, as a, as a disciplinary process and pruning every one of us to become a perfect person in the sight of god and uh, the third thing the third point is chastisement for our good and to share god's holiness to prove that we are his children okay there are uh, mainly two verses that i uh, i have given you uh, three verses okay hebrews chapter 12 verses 7 8 and 10 okay we have to read that verse when I mean, what why god is sending chastisement in a believer's life the third point is chastisement for our good and to share god's holiness and to prove that we are his children read that those verses hebrews chapter 12 verses 7 8 and 10 Yeah, why God is chastening us? Hmm? Why God is chastening us? In huh? order that we may share ah. in His holiness. In order that we may share in His holiness. Why? What do you say? 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, first of all, we need to say that the chastisement from god is for our good is for our good and also to share god's holiness share god's holiness I mean, we are growing now and god said that okay, be holy because i am holy and we need to grow in that part i mean that path and we are always looking forward i mean for a perfection of the holiness and we are saying and we are praying in the presence of god that oh lord i need that perfection of father and i need to share the holiness of god i need to share the holiness of god and also to prove that we are his children 
to prove that we are his children. You must believe and we must know, we must be well aware about that I am the child of God. We were singing today, right? Right? We were singing that song today. Okay? That I am the child of God. Okay? So, in order to prove that you and me are the children of God, sometimes God is chastening us. Yeah? Chastening us. And in, in, in Hebrews, uh, uh, once again, we are reading in that particular verse that we are not, I mean, the in illegitimate children, rather we are his own children. Hallelujah. Namar Allah. The youth and the Kaulade and Marala, Pinarana. Illegitimate, illegal item, 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 we are the children of God. When we become the children of God, we become the children of God by born again experience. Right? When number one, do we end up changing the color? I marry. They went to the makkal. I marry. Hallelujah. When we were I mean, born, born again, when, when it was happening, you know, when we accepted Jesus as a personal savior, we became the children of God. There is a change is happening, and we became the born again people. We are known as the born again people now. Hallelujah. And this is a great privilege for us that I mean, we are called as the born again people and we be became his own children. His own children. Okay. So, you know, usually uh, we don't, any, any parents is there, uh, uh, you are going to the next door and uh, uh, trying to discipline the other children. The next door children. Will you go for that? Will you go for that? Why are they Matula Kunjanga number the Ethla. Matta Vitra Pilar and Namala the discipline of both the number of Vitra Pilar upon display the Maka. Patin the Lepina to it there. Okay, about number and two and a poga than Mario, other number of Trata, that is not our responsibility. But at the same time, church people, the elderly people, they will correct you sometimes, they will discipline the children, that's for your good. Okay, but at the same time, usually we don't go for that. Okay? The next door children, we don't mind them. If, if they are doing something else, I mean, we don't mind them and we don't want them and care about them. But we are always careful about our own children. The same way, God also is looking always for his own children to be perfect. To be perfect. Amen. I always, God is looking for the people of God. God is looking for the children of God to become again and again perfect in the sight of God. Hallelujah. That's the reason that He is not, I mean, punishing maybe the worldly people, but sometimes He is punishing or He is chastising His own children, His own believers, His own people. When chastisement, through chastisement, He is, I mean, I mean, enabling them to I mean, become the, 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 the good people. And in Acts chapter 14, verse 22, we are reading that we must go through many hardship to enter into the into the kingdom of God. Amen. What is that verse? Amen. We must go through many hardship. Hallelujah. We must go through many hardship in order to enter into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now, when we go through the hardship, when we go through the suffering, even yesterday morning also that Pastor John Sir was sharing about that. I mean, in order to, in order to, I mean, uh, 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 bear more fruits and in order to become the people of God, God is sometimes, I mean, allowing the sufferings in our lives, right? When, when God is allowing some sufferings in our lives, that is for good, that is for good, not for bad, that, I mean, uh, something which is going to, something which is good is going to, I mean, happen in our life. That's the reason that God is pruning us and God is, I mean, I mean sending us through the hardship in our, in our personal life. Amen. So whenever we are going through the hardship, understand that we are getting the entrance into the kingdom of God. We are getting the entrance into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And accept that hardship sometimes, man. Accept that hardship and tell God, Oh God, I'm ready to I mean, accept that. And when I'm going through the hardship, Lord, thank you for that. And I will be, I mean, I mean, I mean, perfected in the presence of God. And fourth one. The fourth thing is chastisement with the purpose of pouring more grace upon us. Okay? Pouring more grace upon us. Read that verse, maybe 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Second Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9. Okay, what is that point? Huh? 
fourth one. The fourth thing is chastisement with the purpose of pouring more grace upon us. Namada mail, Namada dana, eh? The youth and the Kirby Adigamoid to Churi under the night, number of Alpur in the end of him. If Bala Shishelude, cut the boy into the night with him. The youth and the Makadam and the youth and the Churi and Agrikino. The youth and a Kruba, the youth and a Kruba, Adigamoid to Churi and Pada, they go number Agrikim ball, number the ball. We will have to go through the hardship and we will have to go through the Chastisement of God, man, disciplining of God. That's what we are reading in Second Corinthians chapter nine, uh, twelve verse nine. That we read it. You know, Paul, Apostle Paul, was having a weakness in his body, and Paul was having an infirmity in his body, and he was he was praying in the presence of God three times, right? He was praying. In the presence of God three times. He prayed three times and asking God, Oh Lord, I'm having a thorn in, on my body, in my body, and remove that thorn of God. Hallelujah. Right? Right? I am pouring my grace upon you. And that Bible, I mean, verse very clearly says that my grace is sufficient for thee, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Hallelujah. My grace is sufficient for thee. And my power is enough for you. And my power is making perfect in weakness. Hallelujah. This morning also, I mean, I mean God is speaking to every person those who are sitting here. That you know, when we are going through difficult situation, when we are going through the hardship, when, when we are I mean, going through the suffering in our personal life, I mean, understand one thing that when God is I mean, pouring out His grace upon you more and more, more and more. We know that Apostle Paul was a great man of God. He was ministering unto the Lord and he was the, going in different places. I mean, he was traveling to different areas, different I mean, countries and he was preaching the gospel, bringing many people into Christ and he was uh, I mean, I mean, establishing many churches in different places. But when he was praying in the presence of God, maybe for one prayer request, three times, God said, no, 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 I'm not going to take that away, but I'm going to pour out my grace upon you. How many of you need more grace upon you this morning? More grace upon you this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray in the presence of God. Pray in the presence of God, O oh Lord. Yes, Master, I'm going through a difficult situation in my personal life. I'm going through a suffering. I'm going through a hardship. I mean, the things sometimes, you know, the troubles that we are having, the problems that we are facing, I mean, the troubles that we are going through. Sometimes we are also praying in the presence of God, O oh Lord. Heal me, O oh God. Heal me, O oh God. Heal me, O oh God. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Amen. Take away all these troubles, O oh Lord. Take away all these infirmities, O oh Lord. Take away all these sickness, O oh Lord. But again and again, sometimes God says that when I am pouring out my grace upon you. Hallelujah. Even though you are instantly not delivered. Amen. Even though you are not instantly delivered or healed completely. But God is saying that I am giving my grace upon you i'm giving my grace upon upon your body that that is more than enough and the kruba ninakka mathi and the shakti ninde belagiradagalil ennu varunu hallelujah hallelujah receive that grace from the presence of god hallelujah kartavane sarida endu pradikke a kruba pradikke a kruba pravichu devathra makkal undallo hallelujah ee logathile kashtangale orthu avar dukkikkittilla avar adine adhijeevikkanavada irikkana kruba ku vendi veendum kondu prarthikkum Hallelujah, hallelujah. I was just thinking, you know, when Paul was asking in the presence of God, when Paul was praying in the presence of God, God did not do that. Then God did not do that and God must have do that, okay? Okay, I'm taking all the thorns from here. Life, and, you know, and, and the scholars are saying that okay, Paul was having uh, some other, I mean, kinds of sickness in his life, the permanent sickness like, uh, I mean, eye problem or legs problem or the, the body weakness or sometimes uh, uh, he was having, uh, he was uh, fainted up and uh, he was not uh, having the strength to I mean, travel and that was the reason that, you know, when he was writing, when he was writing the letters and when he was, uh, I mean, uh, praying or when he was fasting, you know, all the time he was receiving more 
more grace upon him and uh, you know sometimes god will deliver us and sometimes god will heal us but sometimes god will say no 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 when more than that i have i, I i'm giving my grace upon you ende kripa ninde mel njan pagarnu kenja pinne nee idorthu bharaparunda kaaryam illa hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah nu balka namaku adu vendi prarthikkam endana kartave എനിക്ക് അങ്ങനെ കൃപ മാത്രം മതി അങ്ങനെ ശക്തി മാത്രം മതി കർത്താവ് ഈ ലോക ജീവിതത്തിലെ സ്ട്രഗിൾസിന്റെ ഇടയിൽ അമേൻ എന്റെ ഹാർഡ്ഷിപ്പിന്റെ ഇടയിൽ കർത്താവിന് കൃപ എന്റെ മേൽ പകരണമെന്ന് ആത്മാർത്ഥമായി നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നെങ്കിൽ അമേൻ ദാറ്റ് ഗ്രേസ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് വാസ് കവറിംഗ് ഹിസ് ഇൻഫോർമിറ്റീസ് ഹൂസ് ഇൻഫോർമിറ്റീസ് ഹോൾസ് ഇൻഫോർമിറ്റീസ് അമേൻ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് കവറിംഗ് ഹിസ് ഇൻഫോർമിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് കവറിംഗ് ഹിസ് I mean problems and struggles and weakness of, of his I mean personal life amen so let us also pray for that and also the fifth one the fifth one is very important that uh, that should happen in our personal life amen? as a christian okay the fifth one is chastisement with the purpose of character development chastisement with the purpose of character development what is that verse hosea chapter 12 verses 2 to 4 and genesis Chapter 32, verse 28. Let's read that both verses. The Lord has a charge to bring against Judah. He will punish Jacob according to his ways and repay him according to his deeds. In the womb, he grasped his brother's heel as a man who struggled with God. He struggled with the angel and overcame him. He wept and begged for his favor. He found him at Bethel. Yeah, Hosea chapter 12 verses 2 to 4. He found him at Bethel and talked with him there. Okay, that's enough. Then uh, uh, Genesis chapter 32 verse 28. Then he said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but ah. Israel. Ah. Because you have struggled with God and with humans and have, only, and have overcome. Okay, so you know, I was reading from Hosea yeah, chapter 12. Because, uh, I mean, uh, so we are, we are going to talk about Jacob in the Old Testament, okay? Uh, Jacob in the Old Testament, that person, that person, we know that. So that person was a great man of God. He became a great man of God. But because before that, he had to go through many struggles in his life, right? He had to go through many struggles in his life. And he was facing many problems in his life. And then after that only, he was known as the Israel, okay? His name was Jacob. And uh, even Ho- book of Hosea, prophet Hosea, is mentioning about Jacob in his book that it says that the Lord also has disputed with Judah and will punish Jacob. Okay, that's re- that's the reason, you know, in, in Old Testament, I mean, uh, the word punishment is written. Okay, instead of that, in New Testament, always God is using the word, the, the writers are using chastisement or disciplining. Okay, chastisement and disciplining. In Old Testament, always, when, I mean, God is using, the word of God is using the word punishing, punishing, punishing. And it says that, I mean, uh, I mean, God was punishing Jacob according to his ways and he will repay him according to his deeds. In the womb, he took his brother by the heel and in his maturity, he contended with God. Yes, he wrestled with the angel and prevailed. He wept and sought his favor. He found him at Bethel and there he spoke with us. Listen, you know, when we study about Jacob, Jacob is a great and best illustration that when how God was chastening a person. Okay? So God was chastening Jacob in a different way. That's what we are reading in this particular verse and also in Genesis chapter 32 verse 28. You know, you know, let us see how God was disciplining this man Jacob to make his name Israel. Okay? We know that when he was born, his name was Jacob, which means, which means, Heel, heel catcher. Okay, uh, what is that? What, what is the meaning of that in Malayalam? Hmm? <laughs> okay, so I, I'll explain that. Okay, heel. I mean, what is that? Heel catcher. Okay, so Jacob means heel catcher. When he was born, his name was heel catcher. Then it was changed to deceiver. Oh, he became deceiver also. Then after that, then later, okay, finally he became Israel. Okay, we'll see that. Okay, you know, after many chastisement of God, after many chastisement of God, they how let us see how the, the, the character development is happening in the life of Jacob. Okay, you know, today also we need to think about I mean, how the character development is happening in our life. 
Okay? We are saying that okay, I mean, uh, five years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago, uh, we became a Christian and I became uh, a child of God. I'm, I'm so thankful to God for that. But daily in our life, are we having that character development? Namada sofawa rubi karna sambhuvi ke nonda nonda jivate le. Ata na ali chidi ke le ato. Sofawa rubi karna sab sambhuvi ke na. Namada alla pravesha mande kotti paadi. Ame sotra ngena paatu paadi ke naarada thakari onu illa. Jivate nanda sambhuvi ke na. Or sofawa rubi karna sambhuvi ke na. Or character development sambhuvi ke na. A character development step by step point sambhuvi ke sambhuvi ke na. Nampaknya nan lebar awal itu maru wanda kerana Hallelujah. Ipin nampaknya perfect ayat tidak. Percaya orang orang dosa bandi orang. Eh, nampaknya diwajib terawih sih melihat segala kalanya, 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 kalanya. Amin. Nampaknya sahabat itu beri na, bidya segala ke manusia kaki kondo. Amin. Dewi betul na kolam itu beri ayat. Nampaknya orang itu beri ayat ayat tiada. Abade yang anak character development itu sahabat ikhlas ada. Ilegal dewi bandi um. Jasa isi um. Eh, ilegal dewi bandi discipline cie um. Nampaknya dewi um. Bahaya cuci lalu na nadi, 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 nadi. Nampaknya character development itu sampai kita ni ayat itu. Madahana, nampak kita orang kanwa sahdi kena dah. Tinggal buat Jacob, you know, after many chastisements in his life, finally Jacob became an Israel. His name was changed into Israel. Okay, and he was struggling many times with himself, within himself, with other people, and with God. Okay, tinggal buat Jacob, he was struggling with. Sometimes he was fighting with. Himself, he was fighting with the other people, and he was fighting with even the angel of God. Okay, and that you know the, the word which is used to that is struggling. Okay, he was struggling with or he was fighting with. Okay, sometimes. Okay, and uh, think about you know Genesis chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-two. Read that verse. Okay, you know in Hosea, uh, the prophet Hosea was just mentioning about Jacob. Okay, just mentioning, but the history is in book of Genesis. Okay? The history of I mean Jacob is written in. Book of Genesis. What is that? I mean, twenty-five verse twenty-two. Yeah, read that verse. Okay, this is the history that uh, uh, from from Genesis chapter twenty-five, the history of uh, Jacob is beginning. Okay, what is that? You know, Jacob was struggling with his with his, with his brother Esau. I think uh, uh, Jay's sister was talking about Esau today, right? Well, uh, she was, uh, I mean, uh, giving that exhortation. Okay, so Jacob was struggling with his brother Esau even before they were born because they were twins. Okay, so he was struggling or he was fighting with the. His own brother, twin brother, okay, inside the womb of his, uh, their mother. Okay, so that is the first thing that he was doing even before the birth. Okay, even he, before he was born, okay, he was fighting with his brother. Okay, again, yeah, I think uh, uh, probably when these two children, these two, I mean, uh, guys were fighting in the womb of of their mother. I mean, they were fighting there. That's the reason it is written very clearly that okay, they were struggling. Okay, uh, 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 who was that? Jacob was struggling with the Esau. Okay, even in the even before the before the birth. Okay, and again in chapter twenty five, verse twenty six, that we are seeing that while coming from the mother's womb, Jacob was holding the heel of Esau. Okay, in twenty five, verse twenty six. Okay, what is that? While coming from the mother's womb, Jacob has. Was holding the heel of Esau. It is very clearly written that so his name was called Jacob. So his name was called Jacob. That means he was holding the heel of his own brother. That means you know. First of all, we know that Esau came. Okay, Esau came out, and from the back he is coming. I know when you know. And the I know. Parayam, but the Kudiyar will be coming. I know. And the other Esau, I know. Portho to Verne. Esha was okay. I will not know. When he went there. Orang yang mana, beri cuci balik ke, beri cuci nanti, entah mana orang yang ni adalah first board, ni saya adalah adi yang jadi kita, orang ni saya adalah adi yang bottom. Tiada orang yang adi jadi siapa? Isu isu, okay? So adu orang ni, kami ini adalah terang orang berani yang tua. Ni adi board, ni saya adi board, ni berani kerja beri cuci, beri kerja adu orang ni berani kerja kudi kali beri kerja mana? Heel ke acer orang berani, yang karena apa? Okay, so even from the birth itself and before the birth also and during the time of the birth also, Jacob is becoming 
more words and more words and he is i mean doing something which is not uh, i mean uh, uh, which is not uh, i mean acceptable for other people and he was fighting inside the womb and as they were coming out of the womb I mean, same time this man is fighting with his own brother isu and again in uh, when we see in genesis chapter 25 verses 33 and 34 Okay. Genesis chapter twenty-five verses thirty-three and thirty-four. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, there is no need to I mean, uh, uh, read all those portions, but I'll, I'll tell you the things that which is which is written there. In chapter twenty-five verses thirty-three and thirty-four, we see that Jacob bought the birthright, okay, birthright from Esau for some bread and a stew. Okay. Again, again the struggle, again the struggle. Okay, he is struggling with his own brother. Okay, his own brother, and he is asking there. Okay. give me that birthright give me that birthright and i mean i will give you some bread and stew only for a bread and stew he was uh, okay he, he he was he was getting that he was he was buying that birthright okay he was buying that birthright and again in chapter 27 in chapter 27 uh, we read that by the instruction of his mother he became a cheater of his brother and his father This is a very serious thing. He became a cheater. He became a deceiver by receiving the instruction from his own mother, and he is cheating his brother. He is cheating his father. That happened. And again in twenty-seven, chapter twenty-seven says that Esau was trying to kill Jacob, and Jacob was feeling or fleeing away from that that place to Haran. Okay. Now in chapter twenty-seven, this man Jacob. Had to flee from that, uh, I mean, family, and he is, I mean, he is, I mean, fleeing to Haran. Haran lot odi pogya na. Agar ne pogo na samay ta. In chapter twenty-eight, we read that on the way Haran, he got a dream at Bethel, and he was seeing a ladder on the earth reaching to heaven, and angels were ascending and descending. Okay, this is the dream that Jacob was receiving in Bethel. ആകാശം വരെ എത്തുന്ന ഒരു കോവേടി ഉണ്ട് അതിനകത്തൂടെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഏഞ്ചൽസ് ഇങ്ങനെ കയറുകയും ഇറങ്ങുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു Your father, you are a cheater. You are a deceiver. Your character is not good. I mean, I want to talk to you in that particular place in Bethel when God was speaking to Jacob. Hallelujah! And he surrendered himself in the presence of God, and he surrendered and he submitted that. Okay, I am a cheater, a God. I am a deceiver, a God. In that, I am. I am just a bunch of guys. I am a devil. I am a saint. Do you? Arpicho, I am prathicho. Hallelujah! I am prathicho. I am going to come back in again in chapter twenty-nine. In chapter twenty-nine, he reached to Haran, and he went to I mean, Laban's house, his uncle's house, and there Jacob was serving Laban for seven years for Laban's daughter Rachel. He was there, and he was waiting there, and he was just serving Laban for Rachel, the the daughter of the second daughter of Laban. Okay, but he didn't get him. He didn't get her. and again it says that you know laban was saying okay after 7 years he gave his daughter leah hmm? the first one okay the second one is more beauty than the first one okay that means uh, leah was not beautiful but rachel was beautiful that's the reason he was expecting rachel okay then laban said oh you were waiting for 7 years no okay i cannot give you I man i cannot give you rachel I man i'm giving you leah Okay, and he said, "No, no, no, no. I need that Rachel only. I don't want Leah." Man, he was waiting for again seven years at the house of Laban for Rachel. Then after seven, that means forty. After fourteen years, he received his original wife. After fourteen years, he was serving Laban for getting a wife. Hmm? That was not enough for him. And again, in order to discipline that person, you no, know, you have to think about. you know even though he was a cheater of his brother even though he was a cheater of his father here something is happening different 
that Laban was cheating Jacob also. He was a cheater. When I wonder once again, I don't know when Madri Patuan and Sethindia, old Yashapada Mokida, say Laban and Dedu, I wouldn't cheat you. The eight was in the Niki, look at the Ram of Kurtila, we never should have done the Patina, what sort of service in the Tana Dede, the Bari Kurta, a cheatido. Laban, I'm going to cheat you. Okay? So all these things, when it is happening in the life of Jacob, when, let us let us understand that when God is sustaining a person, okay? when God is disciplining a person with a purpose, it's a, with a purpose. And again, in chapter 32, in chapter 32, God is speaking to that person, to Jacob. Okay? That is the last thing that we are going to I mean, discuss. I mean, now, in chapter 32, Jacob, you see that Jacob, okay, read that verse maybe, chapter 32, verses 25 to 28. Genesis chapter 32, verses 25 to 28. You know, here we see that Jacob is wrestling with the angel of God whole night. Okay, that's why Jacob was wrestling with the angel of God a whole night. And when we read that, it is written, Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. Amen? And you know, think about, is it possible for a man, for us a human, for a human to wrestle with the angel of God? Hmm? Is it possible, is it easy for a man to wrestle with or fight with and providing that angel? Is it easy? No, but, but who did it? Jacob did it. How did he do that? How did he do that? It is very clearly written that he was wrestling with he was wrestling with the angel of God and he prevailed. In Hosea, I mean chapter 12, verse 4, it is very clearly written about I mean, how I mean, Jacob was wrestling with the angel of God and how he was prevailing him. It is very clearly written in Hosea chapter 12, verse 4. That it says that it says that I mean he was I mean, Jacob. Through his weeping and prayer, he wept and sought God's favor. Through prayer, he was providing. You know, it, it was not you know, wrestling in, 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 in dream as he was wrestling. I mean, don't think that like physically he was wrestling with the, the angel of God. But through prayer, through weeping in the presence of God, through I mean, seeking the presence of God, seeking the favor of God. He was wrestling with the angel of God and he, he got victory over that. Hallelujah. And God asked him, what is your name? Then he said, my name is Jacob. That means I am. I am a heel catcher and I am a deceiver or, or, or cheater. And then God said, you will not be known as Jacob, but you will be called as Israel because you struggle with God and with man. And you provided. Hallelujah. After struggling and after I mean, after having the wrestle with God and after fighting all these people, his own brother, his own family, I mean, he became an Israel because when God was chastising that person. Hallelujah. Let me tell you one thing this morning that whenever we are going through the chastisement of God, I mean, remember that you are going to get the I mean, character development. Hallelujah. Every moment of our life, I mean, our character should be I mean, getting I mean, changed and getting I mean, I mean, improved and improved and improved that is a that's a consequence that Jacob was becoming in that particular position hallelujah we read that after that wrestling Jacob become a crippled man or lame man okay? Okay? 
ഇവിടെ റെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തത് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിലായിപ്പോയി ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഈ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിന് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു കോൺസിക്വൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഓർത്തോണം കേട്ടോ നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും എന്താണ് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ തെറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ദൈവം നമ്മളെ ചാസ്റ്റേസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഒരു പക്ഷെ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു കോൺസിക്വൻസ് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ കാണാനായിട്ട് കാണും പക്ഷെ കർത്താവിനോട് പറയണം ദൈവമേ എന്നെ സഹായിക്കണമേ എന്നെ ബലപ്പെടുത്തണമേ കർത്താവ് കറക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണമേ ഓ കറക്റ്റ് വി ഗോഡ് മെൻ പ്രൂ മീ യോ ഫാദർ ഹാലോ പ്രേ ദ്രസസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഓ ലോഡ് വെൻ എവർ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ത്രൂ ദ ചാസ്റ്റൈസ് മെൻ വെൻ എവർ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ത്രൂ ദി ഐ മീൻ പണിഷ്മെന്റ് ഓർ ഐ മീൻ ഡിസിപ്ലിനിങ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഓ ലോഡ് ഹെൽപ് മീ ടു മെൻ സബ് മിസീവ് ഇൻ ദ ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഹെൽപ് മീ ടു മെൻ നോ എവർ ഗോഡ് മോർ ആൻഡ് മോർ ഹാലോ ലൂയ സി ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ചാസ്റ്റൈസ് മെൻ ത്രൂ ദ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ജേക്ക് ഹാലോ ലൂയ ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് എ പർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് ക്യാരക്ടർ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ഹാലോ ലൂയ ആൻഡ് ബി അണ്ടർ and that through the prayer and through weeping in the presence of god through crying in the presence of god through submission hallelujah our character development is happening hallelujah whenever we are going through the chastisement of god remember that we are growing in the presence of god we are growing into the holiness of god hallelujah shall we all i mean rise up in the presence of god and we going to pray i mean together for a blessing upon every one of us hallelujah hallelujah when we need to remember many things from the bible that uh, when we need to understand that